In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download and install LM Studio and run Llama 3 locally on your computer or any other large language model that is open source. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, LM Studio is acting as a server for us here or it is a server. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use LM Studio or Llama 3 in LM Studio to automatically translate subtitles in Subtitle Edit. Now, let's begin. Now, LM Studio is available for uh, Mac, that is M1, M2, and M3. And then it's available for Windows. And it's also available for Linux. And it's still in beta. But if I actually scroll down slightly, you can look at uh, some of the few minimum hardware uh, requirements to run LM Studio. Now, I'm um, on Windows and it, it needs uh, Windows or Linux PC with a processor that supports AVX2, typically newer PCs. Now, 16 gigabytes of RAM is recommended for PCs. Uh, 6 GB of VRAM is recommended. Uh, NVIDIA or AMD GPUs. So this uh, is going to be a requirement uh, for some of these things to work. So I'm going to download LM Studio for Windows. Uh, and the version I'm actually downloading is 0.2.21. So probably uh, down the road, you might find a newer version and maybe this tutorial uh, might be missing some of the few aspects that you see here. Uh, but follow along. I believe everything is going to be the same as you see here. Now, uh, let's give it a couple of seconds and then we install LM Studio on our computer so that we can actually now download Llama 3. LM Studio is almost done downloading, uh, but some of the few uh, large language models that you can run uh, include Llama, uh, Py3, Falcon, Gamma, uh, Replict, uh, GPT Neo X, and having LM Studio run these large language models uh, on your computer kind of gives you a free or local chat GPT of your own that you can use on your computer. And I'm actually going to show you how uh, this more or less looks like chat GPT that is running locally on your computer. It's really awesome to actually have these readily inbuilt on your computer such that you don't really need to be uh, sending out uh, maybe information to the outside world, but you can run all these things on your computer. So uh, we're about eight seconds out uh, to begin our installation of LM Studio. And the installation is going to begin uh, just about right now. So there we go. It's finishing up uh, the download. Yeah, should be done by now. There we go. It's done. Now I'm actually just going to click on open file. It's actually going to open up now. So there we go. I can actually minimize this for now. And there we have it. What's new in this, you'll see that new models are supported. Microsoft Py3, small and fast with impressive capabilities. Meta Slama 3, incredibly powerful open model. And this is what we're actually targeting. And you can see a bunch of other things. Let's actually close this. And welcome to LM Studio. It's installed. Our LM Studio is actually running. So uh, what we can do is we can actually search and download compatible models actually click on this search and then search for Llama 3. Let's see if it's available. And if it's compatible with our system. Uh, yep, everything is available here. Uh, so here we have it. And then these are the downloadable files. You can see they're different because some of them uh, are of a bigger size. And if, uh, depending on uh, what you're looking for, uh, you can actually hover to see extremely low fidelity, uh, three bit, still medium, large. So you can decide uh, to see what version you're actually going to go for because the bigger the model, uh, the better the results that you're actually going to get. And you can see if uh, your model is actually going to work. This model might fit entirely in your GPU's memory. This will consider you sp speed up inference. So. There may be other factors that prevent it from loading, such as models, architecture, model integrity, or amount of memory available on your computer. So it's good to note that, but let's go for the smaller one and click on download. And once I hit download, you'll see a download down here. Now, depending on your internet speed, 
it may take a long or short time. Now, based on my internet speed, I think this is going to take more or less like between seven to 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not so sure, uh, but I'll speed up uh, some of these sections here so that uh, we can actually now test out Llama 3. Llama 3 is almost done downloading in LM Studio and you can see uh, the blue progress bar down there. Uh, it's showing us that we're almost getting to the end of it. Uh, once it's complete, we're actually going to test it out and see how it works uh, in just a couple of seconds. Uh, but some few things I'd like you to notice that you can see the estimated RAM capacity up here, the estimated VRAM capacity that you have, that is if you have a graphics card and so on and so forth. And then you can see what's the difference between all these files which one should i download so if you wanted to know that then you can actually find out right about here uh, to see why you should choose whatever more uh, model or file you should choose right here so our file is done downloading zero downloading one completed so it's done it's in here and you'll see the size it's 3.1 uh, agb 100 percent what we chose and you can now see that it's downloaded. Now I'm going to go to the AI chat here and I'll click on that. You can actually uh, bring this down. And from here, you'll need to select the model to load. And I'm going to set Llama and the configuration being applied, Llama 3 contains different system prompt than your current one. Keep current system prompt or whatever. So it's loading, uh, there we go send messages as user will trigger inferencing config parameters as sticky auto save upon changes double click on any message to edit its contents click the user button next to the chat box to toggle user and assistant notes so for example you can enter a user message this is more or less like a prompt for example uh, how many countries are in africa And you'll see it looks more or less like ChatGPT. It's really, really awesome. Actually, the response it gives looks more like ChatGPT. And you can actually uh, copy this. And unlike uh, in Olama where you can't copy stuff, in here you can actually copy. And if I actually pull up ChatGPT and actually just ask the same question, You just get a simple answer. There are 54 recognized countries in Africa. As for uh, Lama 3, there are 54 recognized sovereign states in Africa. The states are members of the United Nations and are recognized by the African Union. They are spread across the continent with the majority located in sub-Saharan regions. So you can regenerate, you can continue, and this is more or less like your own local chat GPT, including a ton of things. You can uh, branch conversation, you can copy, you can edit, you can delete, and so on and so forth. So we have our own local chat GPT running in the name of Llama 3 via LM Studio. Now let's see if it's actually going to work in Subtitle Edit. Now I'm actually going to pull up Subtitle Edit. And the version that supports uh, uh, automatic translation via LM Studio is version 4.05 moving forward. So I'm actually going to get a video open a video and then automatically transcribe it using the audio to text via whisper i'm going to use const me it's much faster generate there we go there we have our subtitles they're available now uh, we're going to do is just go to auto translate auto translate and then we're going to change from olama to lm studio local chat gpt uh, it's right here and then let's say you want to translate it to whatever language that is available here. Let's say we go with, let's actually go with Spanish and then click on translate. Please wait. This may take a while. Uh, LM Studio local chat GPT requires a web server running locally. Uh, now let me see. I think uh, I need to right click and start server on port 1234. So there we go. Let me see, it's running. There we go. We can now translate. Please wait, this may take a while. And 
and there we have it. it should start in like a couple of seconds right here yeah there we go i hear my fans have kicked in and we should have a llama running via lm studio start translating our, our subtitles from english to spanish now it's taking a longer time than when i use olama so probably that's kind of a downside to this uh but probably because there's a ton of things happening here uh, but let's wait and see if it's actually going to work because it should work uh, the server is running it should work there we go but unfortunately uh it doesn't translate like the way we have in olama so it's kind of a downside uh and it's take a, it's taking a little bit longer probably using more resources uh to do whatever it's doing uh huh but i don't think it's going to give us the best result and in the time that we would like it to give us so i uh, could be an error on my side but i think uh my my thought is that lm studio seems to be a little bit heavy on computers as compared to olama uh, when you come to translating subtitles right inside here because you can see how it's working let's see if there's any movement on this side there's nothing here uh going yeah it's taking a little bit too long let's actually cancel it but you can see that it actually works although it's not the best result if i actually see this yeah there is a major major problem it it kind of seems to be uh doubling what i'm doing the english version and the spanish subtitles more or less in uh the same text that's what i think but simply put that is how you can download install lm studio and run llama 3 locally on your computer uh, or any other large language model that you might need to install you can go via search and then uh, you can check out all the others like uh, the file the 3 uh, from microsoft you can just search for it here and then you can see it's a smaller uh, version of it uh, that you can actually download and use uh, so that's something i'd recommend you test it out uh, but for now as you can see uh, with this uh, what we have here uh, we can do a lot of things for example tell me the best places to visit in nairobi there we go nairobi kenya's capital it's actually going to be writing out stuff for us here so it's just uh doing a ton of things mm -hmm. so kenya arboretum museum of african fashion nairobi waterfront Masai Mara National Reserve. Hmm, that's not in Nairobi. Kenyatta Memorial Swimming Pool. Uhuru Park. Mm -hmm. These are just, it's more or less like ChatGPT, uh, your own local ChatGPT. So that's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.